Hello everyone, I am Saraswati M, computer teacher at Vidya Lakshmi Senior Secondary School. Let's enter into our topic. Observe the picture. What do you see? People communicate with each other. Why do we communicate? We communicate with each other to share our feelings, thoughts and ideas. What is the main source of communication? Language. People use different languages for communication. Think, if a human wants to communicate with the machine, what is required? Here comes our topic. Today, we are going to see about programming languages. The source which is used by human to communicate with the computer. First, we will see what is a program. Consider an example, making a cup of coffee. See, if you want coffee, a coffee will not come in hand. It takes step by step procedure, right? First, you want to take milk, boiled milk, you have to add coffee powder, sugar, mix, then you will be, you'll be getting a coffee. It takes step by step task. Similarly, a program is nothing but a set of instructions given to the computer for doing a particular task. Once again, I repeat, a program is nothing but a pro set of instructions that tells the computer what to do. Now you'll see what is programming. A programming is the process of writing specific instructions in a computer language is called programming. We have different types of programming languages. We'll see one by one. We have five types of programming languages. First, machine language. Then assembly language, high level language, advanced high level language, AI language. Just ex we'll explore one by one. First, we are going to see about machine language. Machine language, it is also called as low level language. It uses binary codes 0 and 1. The whole program will be written only using 0 and 1. Think whether it will be easy for you to read a book which is written only using 0 and 1. It is a very difficult task. Similarly, writing a program using 0 and 1 is a very difficult task for the users. So, the next step evolved. See, after machine language, we have assembly language. Assembly language, instead of zeros and one, what it used? Assembly language used mnemonic codes. What are mnemonic codes? It is easy to remember names. Instead of zeros and one, it used some codes. For example, to addition, for making addition, add, subtraction, sub, to move, MOV, like that. For each and every task, it used a code. Code words are used. Again, remembering those code words are difficult for the users who are using the assembly language. But when compared to machine language, it is easy. Again, it is a, we have a critical task where we have to remember all the code words for writing the program. Then next comes the high level language. See high level language, it is very similar to our English language which we read and write. The task of writing program becomes very easy when we entered into high level language. What is the advantage of using high level languages? It is machine independent. What is machine independent? The program which is written for one system can be used for other systems also. The high level language programs are machine independent. When you compare this with assembly language and machine language, they are machine dependent. The program which is written for that computer will be, will be used only in that computer. It cannot be shared to the other systems. But in high level language, the programs whichever written for one system, we can be using into the other systems also. Example for high level languages are C, C++ and Java. Next, we have advanced high level language. It is similar to high level language, basic English, what we communicate with, right? Basic English is used for writing the programs. 
advanced high level languages are used only mainly for database and scripting programs example for advanced high level languages are php python perl and ruby next we have ai languages ai language allow computer to direct program just the user need to identify only the problem what to be done the program will be generated automatically examples of ai languages are mercury oops and prolog next comes a translator consider we will consider an example see this is person 1 here we have person 2 assume that person 1 knows only english and person 2 knows only tamil they both want to communicate but language barrier is there how can they to communicate with each other in center we need a translator who knows both the languages english and tamil when person one is communicating the information in english he will be translating it into the tamil and he will be conveying to the other person again when the reply is given to him in tamil he will be converting it in english and he will be passing the message this is the work of a translator why do we need translator in computers why because computer can understand only machine language computer can understand only machine language which is written using zeros and ones if we write program using high level language or assembly language the machine the computer cannot understand so whatever program it is written it should be converted into the machine language for conversion we require translator programs we have three different types of translators assembler compiler and interpreter assembler compiler and interpreter what do they do if the program whatever we write if you submit the translator program will be taking it as a input and it will be giving the output what it will be giving the program which is written using machine language we will see the translators assembler compiler and interpreter how it works see now we are going to see assembler assembler it is only used for assembly language assembler is only used for assembly language what is assembly language assembly language uses mnemonic codes to write the program for example consider the program it is written as commands move add like that the program is written using some mnemonic codes if we submit this program to the assembler what it will do the mnemonic code will be changed into machine code with zeros and ones why it is changed because computer will understand only machine language before execution the code whichever is written should be converted into the machine language who does for assembly language assembler assembler is a translator used to convert assembly language program to the machine language program next we have interpreters interpreters and compilers both are used to convert high level language programs to machine language programs both are doing the same task what is the difference between the interpreter and compiler is interpreter if you submit a code think the program is written of some 20 lines what the interpreter will do first it will take the first instruction first it will take the first instruction the first instruction will be changed into the machine code something it will be converted into the machine code after conversion if there are no errors if there are no mistakes in the program whichever you have written for the first line then it will move on to the second line second line will be given and the second line will be translated to the 
machine language. If no errors are there, it will be moving to the third line. In the third line, if it finds any mistakes, what it will do? It will return back to the user that in third line, you have some mistakes. If the user corrects the mistakes and again he resubmits, it will continue the execution from the third line to fourth line to fifth line. It will be continuing as if. When it executes the last line without errors, you will be getting the output. This is the way how interpreter works. Interpreter will convert the programs which is written in high level languages line by line. Each line will be converted to machine language line by line. This is the way how the interpreter works. But how the compiler will work? Compiler, see, same way. This is also a high level language program which is used written using normal English. Consider, see, same way. The program is of 10 to 20 lines. How it will work? The compiler will be taking the entire program. It will be taking the entire program. The whole program will be converted into the binary language. What is binary language or machine language or low level language? See, the whole program it will be converted into machine language. Machine language is used as zeros and ones. Why it is converted? Because computer can understand only machine language. The whole program will be converted and finally it will list out the errors if it is there. It will be listing out the errors. Once the errors are corrected, again if we submit, then it will be giving you the output. The difference between interpreter and compiler is interpreter will change the code line by line, compiler will be changing the whole program at once. Just we will have a quick summary of today's concepts what we have learnt. See today we have seen about programming languages. We have five types of programming languages, machine language, assembly language, high level language, advanced high level language and AI language. Machine level language it is also called as low level language or binary language. It uses only zeros and ones. Assembly language. Assembly language uses mnemonic codes to write the program. High level language, it uses our normal English for writing the program and it is very easy for developing the program. AI language, we mainly use this AI language for artificial intelligence development. Then translators, translators play a main role converting the programs which is written in high level language or assembly language to machine language. Why it is converted? Because computer can understand only machine language. Thank you all. Just subscribe to our school channel for more updates. We will meet in the next video.